behind your back, something like that. So if your hands are together, right? If I do decide to punch, you're going to catch inside the punch, right? And you're going to hook your fingers over the tricep. So this block, we call it a prayer hands block. The idea is to tie the person up right away, okay? So if you feel like someone's reaching for you, right, or trying to punch you or slap you or scratch you, who knows, the hands always want to come inside my arm, not outside, right? If it comes outside my arm, it gets in. So um, while we practice this technique, we're going to do both sides at the same time, okay? And at the same time that we block both sides, we're going to drop into base, right? So no matter which hand I swing with, both hands come up, yes, and right away it base. And that way if I really try to give you a little bit of uh, force, you see how it's not moving his base. Knees are already bent. Okay. So we're here, right? And now go again. When you catch this punch, make sure you hook and both sides at the same time. Even though I'm swinging with my left, grab my right too, go ahead and pray from here. Right? Now, if I pull away, keep strong hooks with your fingers, right? So if I start to move away, yeah, uh, you can walk with me a little bit, right? That kind of idea, okay? So the idea with a sucker punch, you guys know what a sucker punch is, it's not like a towel wrap punch. Our hands aren't up. We're not in a fight. We're more in an argument. You're in a confrontation. You can't create space. There's a wall behind you who knows. So the hands are here, right? If the person swings, make sure you block. And secondarily, make sure that you hook behind the triceps.